This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Privacy.com. Head on over to Privacy.com slash Rogue, spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. Sign up, get your privacy private, uh, also $5 free. $5 of free yeah, money. Normally you up. have to pay $5 to keep things private. They're going to pay you $5 to keep it private. Privacy. Win-win. Ooh, nothing like hanging out around the wet ash pit. <sighs> Sunset. Mm. Empty fire pit. Beautiful. Can't help but feel like something's missing. This is the life, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We made it. <laughs> Title card. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're trying to keep warm. Yep. Back in the 17th century. Right. Back when it's not 82 degrees <laughs> in the yeah. middle of December. <laughs> in Sweden in December, 17th century, we're going to fight the Holy Roman Empire. 30 years war though, right? 30 years war. The Swedish army needed a better way, a more efficient way to carry wood and start fires. And so they started cutting tree trunks in half and bisecting them and just using those for like a vertical fire that burned down, almost like a candle. So almost everything I've learned about making fires would be like, like chop it all into little pieces, build a pyramid, build a square pyramid, build a real pyramid. You use a lot of wood is what I'm saying. Yeah, this doesn't. I'll go get a tree trunk and then you explain to us, I, I guess we're gonna cook something. All right, let's, uh, let's oh, do this. Yes. We got it, we got it. Yes. Okay. All right, I guess one thing we should get out of the way is this is not like a survivalist lone man with a hatchet kind of operation. This is a, somebody's going to war and this is a efficient way to use the wood that you bring with, yes. right? Yes. One of the things we'll note is that it's all wet and gross in there. Yes. Doesn't matter. Matter. Just like it would be covered in snow and ice and all that stuff uh, because the fire is going to be up here. Exactly. Right. So the idea is to cut channels in the wood in yep. several different directions in order to create airflow and a centerpiece of heat. So most of the heat will come out in one center point. Okay, how far down do I want to go? Uh, it depends. Uh, as long as you don't split the wood all the way unless you have something to tie it all together. For us, we're, we don't need this to burn all night. So just go down as far enough to uh, create maybe, a maybe, heat. Maybe four or five inches yeah. on there. Yep. Okay. Oh, we're a bunch of Swedes and we're gonna fight the Germans. I never read the Wikipedia. All I know is I don't want to take a whole bunch of wood with me. This is a real classic Swedish song. So back in the day, I assumed they would have a large two-person saw that would go all the way across. I'm afraid, like, this is so big and this chainsaw is so small, I wouldn't want to, you know. They also may have softer wood as well. This is oak, which is a fairly... That's uh, right. We only truck with hard, hard wood. wood. Holy cow, dude. This is some old-ass hard wood. <laughs> and this, this battery is running low. <laughs> Remember that time we spent that whole episode with Brian using a chainsaw to carve a butthole? <laughs> okay, so for Swedes in the Thirty Years' War, we would put tinder and grinder and all of them in there. Yeah. So what is this? Uh, this is a little fire starters. Yes. Yeah, sure. Man, sure. You're good. Yeah. Go for Jason? it. Jason, you the might have a fire starter. Oh, those are good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we want to burn things down. This might take a little bit of time. So I guess in the meantime, this just has to do its thing. What are we going to cook? There's got to be only one thing, right? I mean, there's only one thing I like to cook on campfires. There it is. Would you like to do the honor? Oh, man. Oh, the finest of cat food. Brian blowing out a <laughs> loaf of meat. All right, look, I'm gonna tend the fire. You guys can make that into beautiful cubes. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's totally working. Except for that part. Oh no, it is totally working. Wrote a book on it. I should probably read it. You can go ahead and nick this. We do have the, uh, Leaf blower as well. Oh, yeah, I'd say go get the leaf blower. We'll just do time compression. Oh, look at that. That's actually super Science. awesome. Ooh, yeah, it is. Yeah! <laughs> That's really cool. That's oh! awesome! Let's cook some spam. Let's cook some spam. 
Well, that was anti-climactic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask one thing. If anyone wants to correct our technique, you have to post the comment in Swedish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was terribly afraid somebody was going to come back with some of that spam light. There's not enough fat in the spam light to cook in an open fire like this. There's spam light? I didn't even know that was a thing. You know what? I'm going to do you the favor of telling you that was a lie I invented <laughs> and it actually doesn't exist. Not a thing. But if there was such a thing, there would not be enough grease for it to cook itself in. Really? And it wouldn't be able to soak in its own Ooh. fatty juices. Ooh -hoo. You hear it? I do. That's the sound of uh, freedom a, a or blower. oppression. <laughs> is, that, is that freedom or oppression? Which side were they on? No, it's a good, uh, the Swedes, I don't know. They're, they're a little unpredictable. Yeah. Yes, technically, we've not done things exactly the way the Swedish would. Or even kind of. But if they had the tools that we had, I, I would say they wouldn't blame us. Oh. Well, that's looking pretty good. Yeah. Get yourself, find, find a nice browned piece. So good. It's better. <laughs> it is better. That's a ringing endorsement. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> now it's warm cat food. <laughs> <laughs> Look, son, this is warm. <laughs> You got 29 more years of this. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the sweet's lost. Tis the season to be scammy. Fa la 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 la. Uh. Give me credit cards and I will ram ye. Oh, this uh, from <laughs> someone who runs a store named Scam, Scam Stuff. stuff. Yeah, look, the only way you get to run a store called Scam Stuff is by being impeccably honest. But I'm one of the good guys. You know who ain't no good guy? Everybody else. Oh, you're the one. I'm the one good guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's you. If you don't trust me, then head on over to privacy.com slash rogue. Sign up for a one-time use card. Get $5 free. Spend it on my store. And if it's a scam, then I'll be the one scammed. And you'll be the one keeping your privacy private. Yeah, the people out there trying to get your data from your online transactions, they are out there in full force right now because of the holiday You've season. You've got skimmers and scammers and people <laughs> who steal. <Yeah>. Copyright. <laughs> music and I am a heel. Oh. But do you recall the safest way to spend money of them all? It's a Christmas Privacy miracle! Privacy.com <laughs> slash rogue is where you can get your privacy, privacy to be private. private. Generate one-time use cards. Monitor your regular spending. It's not Hard. Unlike that creepy dude up north, they'll not be selling your information. You ever think about that? Oh, Santa's a data harvester, right? man! <laughs> and best of all, support your favorite show. That's us. By going to privacy.com slash rogue. Yeah, I think just keep it there. That's good. I mean, the good news is you don't have to worry about copyright strikes. <laughs> <laughs> Offer and link in the description below. Science. 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 Adjacent. Science. Science. Kind of. It's probably fine. I need the dexterity. Science. Adjacent.